be looking at um, Stillman with Fisher and whoever on the second line? Well, I think that's a natural place to start. Um, this is a guy that is used to playing in the top six forwards. That's the reason we acquired him. Um, one of the reasons we acquired him, it addresses that need we're talking about of a, a goal scorer. And uh, so I, I think that's the natural place uh, for him to start. And he'll be in that quote-unquote mix of six forwards someplace I foresee for sure. What do you know about those two guys as far as characters? Well, I think the same as what Brian said. I think there's no, there's no question the Stanley Cup experience um, of going through both of them gone a little bit further than we went last year to add them to a hockey team that the core, core 75, 80, 90% of it went that far last year. I think it's, it's really vitally important. Um, I know Kevin McCarthy very well, uh, associate coach in Carolina. I know that uh, Corey was a strong um, contributor in a lot of areas when they won a cup. He told me that, not lately, he told me that last year. So uh, I think it's I think it's a tremendous deal for us going ahead here in a lot of areas, a lot of ways. John, would, would Commodore be a good fit with Wade? Well, that's probably where we'll go to, it'll go to start. I think that, um, I think we need it, whether it's with Wade or not, but we've nothing really to do with, I don't think our play this season or lately or anything, but we've wanted a more physical presence in the, in the back end. Uh, probably right from, certainly if not before, from the playoffs last year in the, in the finals. And I think he's a, a real competitive um, player with size, and we said last year after the playoffs that size matters, and we got a really bigger, imposing figure back there who's, I don't think he delivers hits or runs around a little bit like commissary, but he's a competitive guy who takes the man, and when there's scrums around the net, will be the, you know, the aggressor or the equal of this kind of scrums when you play teams that just scrum a little bit more, so I, I think it's, I think that's a good place to start, and I hope that's, you know, where we can, where they stay together. So, so this will be a period of transition, a bit shuffling around the defense. <coughs> well, we'll see. Yeah, I mean, I think that that's, there's lots of factors come in of, you know, different things that can happen. But I think, uh, you know, being a couple of weeks before. Uh, Deadline, as Brian said, allows a couple of weeks more of you know transition, and uh, as he said, he didn't think he was really done. So when you know another addition or two comes, that uh, you know that, that just gives more time to get to, together. I think the team and sort of sends a message to the league, besides the fans here, that that we're serious. When you go after Stanley Cup teams that are really after players that have got Stanley Cup rings, I think the message is clear. What uh, what the objective of this team is.